Good evening. Happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend and thank you for joining me tonight. And we're going to wait just a few minutes and give a few people to hop on before Ed moves the camera down. I am Julie with Creations by Julie and this is Magnolia Monday. I go live every Monday and Thursday and on Mondays I actually uh, do designs and home decor and show you things about Magnolia design. Let me pull it up on Facebook and give Ed my phone so that he can um, catch the comments. So when you hop on, let us know you're here and that you see us. And um, oh, that's a pretty picture. <laughs> okay, let me turn the sound down so he can just see the comments. Hi, Carrie. Thank you. Boy, you're just usually right on time. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, like I said, I'm Julie with Creations by Julie. Ed's behind the camera, and he's going to check comments. One reason you need to comment on this live is because, hang on a second. Ed, guess what? You're moving the camera. <laughs> he told me if the camera's going to be up here on the table, you can't move it. So he's moving the camera. Not me, he was. <laughs> you know, you gotta keep them straight, right? He gets paid so much to do this. <laughs> yeah, I never, I never had a job I couldn't get fired. <laughs> anyway, Ed is behind the camera and he's gonna watch for comments, he'll answer. No, he won't answer. He might good by now, but he will tell me any questions that you have about what we're doing. Just type them in the comments and if he misses them, he doesn't see them. I always go back and read the comments afterwards and I will answer your questions then. Um, like I said, this is Magnolia Monday. It's a Monday, so we are actually going to work with the January craft kit. No, I can't, Carrie. I can't quit. I done tried. <laughs> He's tried to quit and I won't <laughs> let him. He likes to eat too much. <laughs> so anyway, let me tell you a little bit about Oh, let me finish telling you why you want to comment. Ed picks three names every live that I have and just random comments, he'll choose three names. He gives them to me at the end and I write them down. Those names go in our, our little blessing bag that we have. And then if you're watching this on replay, if you'll just put hashtag replay, then I'll know you saw the replay and I choose one name to go in the blessing bag for that. Then if you uh, do what, the little S word that Facebook doesn't like us to say, which is crazy. But if you tap that little button down there that says S-H-L-A-R-E, and you put it on your website or uh, a group if you're allowed to, uh, for other people to come join us, then your name goes in the bag twice. What'd she say? Carrie Marie said, food's a good motivator. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie, I'm just like an old dog. You wave for up dog, the food in front of me and I'll do anything. And what's so funny, y'all, I was telling my kids this weekend, when we first started this, about a year ago, I guess, um, if he wanted to say anything to me, or if he, he would try to motion, or like hand signals, and then he would whisper, because he didn't want anybody to hear him. Now he's actually giving me advice on things. <laughs> but um, this is just kind of, somebody this last week made the comment that uh, we remind her of her grandparents. I hope that's a good thing. <laughs> we are grandparents. We have 10 grandchildren. Uh, six of them were here this weekend. And uh, so we got to spend the weekend with them and actually celebrate our Christmas with our two oldest kids and their families. But we miss the youngest. His family is in Mississippi and uh, his wife is a nurse practitioner. And with COVID, like it is, uh, she couldn't get away because she, they had to close two clinics. That she take that they gave her an extra one besides hers because the uh, nurse practitioner there had COVID. Well, I got a text from him today. She's now tested positive for COVID and one of their kids. So anyway, you know, you just do what you have to do, and we will see them hopefully later this summer. But anyway, I wanted to um, tell you a little bit. If you're not familiar with Magnolia Designs, Magnolia Designs Company is a company that sells reusable stencils. Uh, they sell the paste, they sell the ink, and you would use the ink on fabric and glass and things that you can heat set. 
they have several kits on their website actually, but they also have a monthly, like a subscription craft box. And that's what we're gonna do tonight. Mine came in last week. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna go through it tonight with you and show you what comes in. You get everything you need to do a, a craft. Um, this month you get the picture frame, stencil, paste, squeegee, you know, everything you need to do it. You can add to this, you could add beads or you can add a bow or something like that. But I'm gonna show you step by step. You get instructions. On the instructions, there's actually a little code that if you uh, hold your phone, QR camera, code. yeah, is that what it's called, QR? Uh, if you hold your camera uh, over that, and it takes you to the website and takes you to a video. But um, the first few times I saw those things somewhere, I didn't have a clue what to do, but you know, I'm also 72. No, I'm not 72 yet, I'm just 71. <laughs> I will be 72 this year. But anyway, um, Ed is, he has the iPad back on the table. So if it shakes a little bit, I'm sorry. Um, can you hear me okay? I will try to talk louder. Um, had a couple people have problems with hearing me. So I know my iPad is turned up all the way, but if I need to do some research and get a microphone, I will. Um, Carrie, I was gonna ask you, do you use a microphone? Um, on your lives or not. I don't think they're really expensive. If, if there's a way it plugs into my iPad, we could do it. But um, I'm gonna try not to shake the table uh, or I'll get fussed at. So. Judy Crafton says, hello, you're right. Good, good evening, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Okay. Pat, Pat Powell says, yeah. Hi, Pat. Uh, I saw you, did Camden get snow? I saw Ernest, my brother, posted a picture today that South Alabama, Redenburg and places got snow and I'm like man we got cold it was cold but it was up in the 60s today uh, by Wednesday it's going to be 77 I think they said and then get cold again so but anyway I love the snow okay um I told you about Magnolia I told you about how to get your name in our our blessing bag so let's go down to the box Ed <laughs> y'all hang on he's gonna move it down a little bit and I'm gonna show you everything that came. This is the January Magnolia Craft Club box. And I'll try to like do it where you can see it. Okay, so this is what comes in your box. All I did was take uh, some paper out. So you're actually going to get a frame. Uh, this is one of the Magnolia frames or about the size of one. It, I would say it can be two-sided because you have this side that you're going to do your uh, Valentine. You get a stencil, this little, cute little truck, and says loads of love. So that's what we're gonna put right here. But y'all know me, I like the reversible. Uh, of course, this you know sits by itself. So all you have to do is turn it over and I will probably do that next week. Paint yes. this or stain yes. it. Carrie says, no, I use my phone so I don't have to but I'm gonna start using a log tech camera which has its own microphone. Oh, it. that's cool. See, Carrie's moving on up in the world. <laughs> I have to use my iPad. I don't have ring lights or anything, so we're just, what is it? What's the saying, poor folks? Poor folks have poor ways. Yeah. Have y'all ever heard that? Yeah, I say it all the time. So, I guess it's a Southern thing. But this definitely can be two-sided. You can do two different crafts, um, but you get a stencil this month, cute little truck. Karen Boyd Hunter said she just got home from Walmart, had frozen turkeys for 25 cents a pound, so I had to get some. Oh, yeah, that'd be good to put in the freezer. Mm, but there's some places, I believe right now, you could just set it outside and it would stay frozen. But yeah. kind of, yeah. Pat, did she have snow? No, she was out of town, but she said she loves the truck. Yeah, I think it's really cute. Um, and I guess as long as you, you can subscribe to the uh, craft box, you have to uh, commit to three months worth and it's $19.99 plus $5 shipping. And like I said, you get a different craft every month. After three months, you can cancel. It's a great gift for somebody who likes to craft because like I said, you get everything here. But um, they sent, they're sending this month raspberry 
Let me put my glasses back on. Raspberry paste and black paste. Now, I'm not going to use these because I have red and black paste from Magnolia, and I wanna save these for either a craft kit or maybe to put in the craft supply box with a stencil for y'all, who knows? Erin Hunter says, love it, hers will be here this week. The kit, I, I just got mine last week, so. Kay Marie says that she had to do something different because her phone has autofocus, it can't be turned off. And oh. it causes... It makes it blurry, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, when you move too close to it or something. Yeah. And you get, a, you get a squeegee to use. So you get two colors of paste, the frame, the stencil, and this is your instruction sheet. Very detailed, although this is simple, simple, simple. So um, the only thing I noticed, there's a couple of tips that I like to tell you that they didn't mention here. And they're actually showing like the fuzzing towel. You know, you don't get that in the kit. But um, if you join as a creator, that's what I'm giving away. Anybody who joins my team, um, I'm giving a fuzzing towel to right now. But anyway, so let me set this aside. One thing they don't mention, and y'all know I've told you, uh, when you first open a stencil, the first thing you want to do is mark the back of it so that you know it that's the back so that you once you clean it wash it and put it back on the thing you put it on the right side the and sticky the, side no it's not sticky it's not sticky mm -mm, one's real shiny and one's not the stencil itself is sticky but so let's open this doesn't matter i mean it doesn't have a hanging thing so we're just gonna you do not need to do anything to this surface to prepare it it's ready for the stencil. So I'm gonna open my stencil. It's called Loads of Love. And um, I think right now, um, the stencils that come in the, the kits are exclusive for a couple of months. And then I guess probably next year, or if they have an overload of these stencils, then they will actually sell them to everybody. But I'm just gonna write on the back of it Loads of love. Just so I, I know what's the back. Okay, now you don't get a fuzzing towel. We actually have these fuzzing towels. When you get a new stencil, it's really sticky. See, it's pretty sticky. So you want to peel it off. You can put it on your clothes. I, like I can put it on my apron or you can put it on a dish towel. Um, it just kind of keeps it from being so sticky that uh, it stretches your stencil when you pull it off or especially like if you're putting it on paint, if you've painted a surface, you know, I told you, you need to kind of wax it. So I'm just gonna do it a couple of times, although I don't think it's gonna stick to this surface. What? Shaking. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so if I make y'all dizzy, sorry. So I'm just gonna eyeball this and just kind of put it, actually, I think it's gonna be perfect fit in there. So I guess it must be a five by seven. And then you just want to, I probably should have put up a corner of it make sure I can pull the thing up because I mean it fits I'm gonna bend a corner of it the green part where the things not at because I got a little bubble here I want to make sure I get that and something under there and you can feel if you get that was a piece of the frame all right so I'm just gonna lay it back down see how sticky it is and everywhere you see white is where the paste is gonna go through. So you wanna make sure that you don't have any bubbles there that will um, cause your paste to bleed through and go where it's not supposed to. They actually have a big truck too. Sorry, that's moving it in it. This may be that we may not do this again because I can't really craft and not move the table. Okay. Now, once you, here, you've got your, I've got the stencil on there. 
Okay, if I was using the paste that came in the packet, you've got more than enough paste. So push, don't waste your paste. Uh, push it, just mash it a little bit to make it warm and softer or whatever. And then push it down so that it's not, I wouldn't tear it all the way across. I would just kind of cut a corner um, and then just take out what you need, fold this back over and put it in a Ziploc bag and it will last a little while. So, um, and you could, you know, do another truck the opposite. You know, you, this one we're gonna do the hearts. Well, I'm gonna do it red. This would be raspberry. Uh, you could turn it over and do another one on the other side where you make the hearts black and or everything raspberry. But anyway, that's what you would do. You would just cut the corner of this, put a little bit on your squeegee, the angled part, and um, then fold it over good. You might tape it or whatever and put it in a Ziploc bag. So, you know, save your, save your paste. You have more than enough in these kits to do the one thing that they've got. But since I already have black and red, I'm not gonna cut those. So, um, you know it's the paste because the lid is black. They're ink, the lid is white. So, let, the first thing you wanna do when you open your paste, is stir it and it's it's supposed to be the consistency of I don't want pieces of um, like icing or yogurt somebody said mashed potatoes <laughs> but anyway it, if you don't want it real thin <laughs> if um, he may not catch many comments y'all he's having to hold the camera so if you need to add water uh, just take a like a little squirt bottle like this, and then just squirt water in there and stir it up well. Okay, I am, um, let's see, I know I'm gonna do the truck black, and I'm going to do one word black. I think maybe that's what they did on the- You wanna do truck teal. Well, I wanna use the colors kinda of that they yeah. got. And black does tend to stain a little bit, so I actually am gonna use it last. I'm gonna open up my red. Ooh, that wasn't good. That's what I just did. Stuck black in the I red. didn't clean off my... Yeah, I'm gonna have some dark red here. Let's mix it in there, it's just gonna be a darker red. <laughs> I didn't clean off my thing before I stuck it up there, thanks. Okay, so I'm gonna stir the red. And I don't think I have to add anything to it either. All right, let me clean off this. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean off this other one too. Donna Smith says she hopes her stuff comes in this week. It, it should, Donna. Of course, I know we had a, um, a holiday and um, Ed went to I don't know why the post office was closed Saturday. I had a couple of orders that Ed took to go, take it to the post office Saturday and they were closed. I would have thought it would have just been today, but I guess not. But uh, Magnolia's pretty fast usually giving their stuff out. Kid Marie wants to know, are the kits the same price each month? Yes, $19.99. Now they do have some kits in there that um, are different prices, but it's not the Craft Club. The Craft Club is $19.99. Plus shipping. Plus $5, it's set amount, $5 shipping. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit smaller squeegee and just put some paste on there and I'm just gonna do these hearts. And you want to just rub it on there, not push real hard. Just glide it over. Let's see if I can turn it this way. And I'm gonna try not to get the truck. But y'all know I'm a messy crafter. One thing, Magnolia sells these little uh, stencil pins. 
I think they're called squeegee pins or something. There's like a set of five and they're for small areas. Like if I just want, I want to make sure I get all that part. And these are real good for things like that. Okay, and I'm actually going to do the word love. And then you just want to scrape off the excess that you have. And I'm going to do loads in red also. Like I said, they didn't send beads or anything to decorate the frame, but you you could always add to it. But you, you do have the stuff in the kit to complete one thing. Okay, now I want to do my black before my red dries. So I'm going to take this squeegee and do the word of and the whole truck. Your paste dries faster than the ink. So, I mean, you don't have to rush, rush, but you don't want to be real slow doing it either because you don't want your paste to dry in your stencil. All right, let me scrape off some of this. Turn it around and get the top part of the truck. You wanna make sure you have every area that's white that you have pushed paste of some color through that area. If you put too much paste or if it's too watery, it uh, could bleed through. Now, I don't know if this surface is like a chalkboard that you, but if you use a chalkboard, you can like use this stencil for uh, Valentine's and then just take a wet rag and wash it off. I will, when you go to pull your stencil up, you might gather, start at the corner, but then you want to pull it straight from either top to bottom or side to side. And I want, oops. I guess it's supposed to stop there. It does on the stencil, the little part of the truck but they do have pins that if I wanted to, I could go fill that in with one of their Talking about the windshield? Yeah, but the stencil, it stops there, so. And I probably, it's a little thick in places. Let me turn it around for you. And I got, I got just a little bit of paste there on my frame. Let me see if I can get it off. I might have done it with my finger. Like I said, I'm, I'm a messy crafter. It's just right there on the frame. We got to shake. All we need to roll. Oh, and roll. yeah, that's true. Let me see if I can pick it up and wipe it. Yeah. Okay, so there's there's the stencil, and you could be finished with it and set this on a tiered tray, set it on your mantle, set it on a table, and that's how fast it is. You can hang it on the wall. Those little clips. You can get it to double oh, yeah. yeah. in packs of about 20 or 25. Yeah. Um, I am going to experiment. I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to use it for Valentine's in my living room, and then I'm going to see if I can wash this off, and I will let you know. I, I, I don't know if this is considered like a chalkboard surface, but it probably is. Um, like stuff like this that's even from the Dollar Tree, this chalkboard, you can just wash it off if you don't spray it. Dollar Smith wants to know what size it is. Stencil uh, I believe it's a five by seven, Donna. It, I believe this is a five by seven frame. This is, it is five by seven. But I don't think this stencil is for sale by itself yet. I think it's just in this kit. Uh, but like tomorrow or the next day, I, you know, I like things reversible. I will take this frame and paint this and put another stencil here that could be used for Easter. And then you've got Valentine's on one side to turn it over and you got Easter on the other. So it's a really, it's a nice frame um, in the kit. And that's how quick and easy it is. Um, you know, I, I just thoroughly enjoy Magnolia designs because there's so much you can do with them. And they have so many stencils. Uh, let me cover up my paste and then I'm going to, since we, 
we did the kit, that's really all. Like I said, you could put a pretty bow here on the corner. Um, I think it would be pretty to get some of the glittery hearts from the Dollar Tree and just put a heart in each corner. Um, I may do that. Right now, all my stuff like that's out in my shed, so. You know, I had to clean off the beds for the kids to sleep. <laughs> it's like, you mean you really need a place to sleep? So, all that's in the shed right now. I'll have to get it out. But I think that would be really cute just to put hearts in every corner. Or a big heart down here or something like that. But it's a really cute stencil. So, I'm going to show you. We're going to... Donna, Donna Smith wanted to know, did we buy the kit from you? You order it from Magnolia Design. Yeah, you have to go on the website like you did before and just put, um, but now Donna, you, you have to commit to three months. Uh, we don't know what the kits are gonna be for the next couple of months, but they say you have to commit to pay $19.99 plus $5 shipping for three months to get a kit. And then, um, then you can cancel anytime after that, three months is over. Um, I'm not gonna cancel mine, I'm gonna keep it coming so that I can show y'all the kits. But as long as you order, and it will renew, like if you order um, tomorrow or today, the 17th, next month, February, unless they've changed it, I think, but it's like a month from when you've done it, then it will renew and they'll send you the, the one for February. I think mine renews on the 5th, and it took me probably five days to get it. I think I got it somewhere around the 10th or 11th, something like that. So I'm gonna just set this aside and show you. Brenda Bracken says hello. Hi Brenda, good to see you. I bet you have snow too. Seem like everybody had snow but us. Sandy uh, Renshaw said I made two of the heart wreaths this weekend. Cool. One of them had three different pink ribbons in with the cotton stripes. Great gift. Oh, that's awesome. So were you able to find the um, Frames at your Dollar Tree? I ordered a case of them, but hadn't gotten them yet because they weren't in my Dollar Tree. Okay, I've got a pan of water over here that I put the stencil in, and I'm gonna show you. See, black stains just a little bit, but I'm gonna take a Clorox wipe. You don't want baby wipes for this. You wanna use a disinfectant wipe. And I'm just gonna kinda rub and get as much of that paste off of there as I can. If I was not on a live, I would take it to the sink and just run cool water over it. Bottom of the front tire. No, I don't think it's going to. Anyway, that would then turn it over and wipe the back and run it under water. It's the Clorox wipe on the sticky that reactivates the sticky. So you just want, it does not hurt that there's a little staining on your stencil. It's just, I don't know if you can see through, you wanna be able to see through all these little places, but I'll run it back under water. After you clean it well, then you wanna leave it laying sticky side up until it dries totally. When it's dry, you take it and put it back on that um, backing and then put it back in your package and that's, that's it. That's all there is to it. It's pretty easy to, to clean them. Donna wants to know, would it still qualify to receive the January craft box if we order tonight? I would think so. Um, because I think, if, if I'm not mistaken, what the website says is January craft kit. You know. Um, I, I think it's the, for the whole month of January or maybe just till towards the end. I'm not sure, but it should say, this is called the January Craft Craft Club Kit. It's not, it is a kit, but it's the Craft Club. Um, I can go in there after I get off Donna and check and make sure what it says, but I'm pretty sure right now, I mean, because they're not even doing February till, you know, till February. I have a feeling that the, the uh, craft for February Probably will be Easter, but I'm just guessing. They don't even tell us. We find out like the day before they're, they're mailed. Um, they actually show us a picture. 
And like I said, this was a real simple, simple craft. It doesn't need a whole lot of explanation. Hand me that piece of paper out of there. But every craft kit comes with um, this piece of paper that's step-by-step -step instructions of what to do. And then this little QR code right here, it, it will send you to a video to where Magnolia Designs is actually doing the stencil just like I did and showing you how to do it and what to do. So it's, uh, it's really good for somebody just getting started even. But, um, okay, um, that, that does it for our kit tonight. That was really fast, but I knew it would be. Um, Ed, you wanna? Yeah, Brenda Bracken said there was a place in Tennessee that got nine feet of snow. Nine feet? Yeah. Oh, wow. Now I don't want that much snow. Um, Y'all know I do the unique and the creek boards a lot, and Lori, uh, the lady that designed them and everything, she actually lives in, on the Canada side, I guess, of Niagara Falls. Uh, she did a Facebook thing today, and they had gotten over 20 inches. A lot. That's a lot of snow, y'all. Um, I know Vredenburg just got a dusting of snow where my brother lives. Okay, Ed, I need three names. All right. Looking at the okay. comments. Donna Smith. Okay. Karen Boer Hunter. Karen, I saw where you said uh, your bowling was postponed for a while. So you'll be with us on Monday nights now for a little bit, huh? Okay. One yeah. more. Karen Marie. Karen Marie. Okay, ladies, and then I will go back and pick somebody for replay. Um, I think next Monday is is the last, is next Monday the 31st? I believe it probably is going to be next Thursday, not this Thursday, but the next, that it will draw a name. Nine inches of snow. Oh, nine inches. Yeah. About nine feet. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> nine inches of snow. I, I could handle that. Could you handle that? No, because I've been through a seven-inch show, <laughs> show and they like to kill me. Okay, ladies. Thank you so much for being here tonight. And um, this was just short and sweet. I will be back Thursday night at 6. I have not decided exactly what I'm doing, but I think I'm going to go through my uh, poly burlap and show you how to do a flower on one of the Unique in the Creek boards. Uh, probably one on the small boards like the other one. I don't know how many of you noticed that um, I didn't even put greenery 